All right, it's Foodie Friday time, and y'all, we are so excited about today's segment. In a little more than a week, Five Points will be a sea of green. That's right. We're talking St. Pat's in Five Points, South Carolina's largest one-day festival. And y'all, for the first time ever, there's going to be a alcohol-free mocktail lounge. It's called The Saint, and this morning we are joined by John Brunty, a recovery coach, as well as Miss Lainey Johnson. She is the bar manager with Backstreets, and we want to get right into it this morning. Yeah. What do we got, Lainey? We're doing a super easy cucumber mojito. So I'm going to go ahead and start with some rhubarb bitters, fresh lime juice, simple syrup, and some cucumber water that I infused over nice fresh mint. That's all you need. All right. So wow. while Lainey is whipping this up for us, our alcohol-free uh, mojito, uh, John, <laughs> talk to us about uh, helping make this come to life, this, this mocktail lounge. Well, the um, Heather McDonald with the Five Points Association and Trey Judy reached out to me and uh, talked about, you know, asked about helping promote their mocktail lounge for St. Patrick's Day. And I thought, mm -hmm. what a great idea. They've been working with the ladies at Cola Love to kind of make this happen. Cola Love does pop-up events around town. So this was the perfect event for it. Yeah. They, uh, they've come up with a really nice tent that's gonna be, you know, quite the lounge. It's, it's excellent. I'm so excited about that. Now I have to ask, uh, as a recovery coach. Oh, she's shaking? Oh, hold on. That's my favorite part. Can, hold on. Can we have a moment for the shake? There you go. A moment for the shake. <laughs> that's a lot of arm work. Yes. yes. That's a lot of arm work. I, I love, love this. <laughs> You make it seem so easy. I'm gonna let y'all know that mojito would have been over there, over there, back yeah. there. We would have been in trouble. Uh, but John, again, uh, talk to me about the importance of offering Ooh. an alcohol-free option uh, for folks at this festival. What does this mean? Well, for me, like for me, it's I haven't been to the St. Pat's Festival in mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. since I got sober, pretty much, and I just think that it's an excellent alternative to. For young people to have something more than water or Coca-Cola or, you know, not to bash soda drinks, but it just gives a much more lively uh, choice for everyone. Yeah, because it creates an opportunity for everybody to have a good time and enjoy this festival. Exactly. Lenny, I want to ask you too, how quickly did you make this? Because, I mean, <laughs> when I say the precision over here, so for somebody who is interested as well, maybe doing this at home, quick and easy? Super easy. Okay. All you need um, are fresh ingredients and then your favorite flavored soda water will take anything to the next level and just give you that extra little bit of flair. Ooh, I love this. All right, so when it comes to putting together the type of drinks that are going to be offered in this mocktail lounge, what goes into creating that menu? I think a lot about um, classic cocktails that are mocktails that people would be, um, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. curious about and also uh, familiar with. And yeah. then you try and build on those and just bring in seasonal flavors and stuff like that as well. Oh, I love this so much. Now, can we try it? Yes, yes. I know. I know. I'm getting a little excited <laughs> over here, too. I can't wait. I can't it wait. I can't so wait. Good. And you know it what? Smells it delicious. smells great. And I love when you said the fresh ingredients. Mm. I think that's also really yes, important yes, there, this too. This mint is from my backyard. And if you have mint in your backyard, you know it grows like a weed. So you've got wow. plenty of it. These will last all summer long. This is absolutely incredible. I'm so excited about this. Yeah. Um, so i got to ask you guys, what are you looking forward to the most in St. Pat's and Five Points this year? Looking forward to hearing the bands again, mm -hmm. seeing seeing everybody, and you know, just having a lot of people stop by the the lounge, the Saint. Yeah, I love yes. that. You know, John, let me ask you, what is your message for people when they come in? Like, what do you want them to have when they come in that experience? Well, I want to say welcome. You know, this is for everybody. It's very inclusive, and you don't have to necessarily drink to have a good time. That's my mm. message to everyone all the time, pretty much. Yes, sir. We wow. love that. This John, is fantastic. Lainey, <laughs> we appreciate you guys so much. Thank you yeah. for coming on the show. Thank you for helping this come to life so that everybody can enjoy it. Thank you for just being so talented. Lainey, we appreciate yeah. you. Yeah.